Morning everyone, how are you going? Uh, it's been about a month since I've been out in the water. It's been some terrible weather here on the east coast of Australia. Finally, a beautiful ocean. Um, I came out yesterday for a bit of a reconnaissance mission and got a bit of a surprise. Had a crazy mackerel session. Um, didn't have the cameras out, unfortunately. Had a couple of friends on board who had a great time. Uh, caught some good fish, so I've come out today to the same spot to see if they're still around. Um, amazing, I'm the first boat out, which is awesome. There was a bunch of boats out here yesterday. Uh, as you can see, awesome sunrise in the background. Really good conditions. Uh, hardly a breath of wind. Low swell. So I'll get some trolling lures out first, um, and then I'm gonna try a bit of stick baiting, possibly, if I see the fish up high, and some live baiting. So let's uh, get some lures in the water. Yesterday we got a lot of the fish on the fast retrieve jigs, just ripping them up through the packs. The fish were up pretty high, so let's see if they're still behaving the same today. Okay, I've just seen a pack of mackerel come out of the boat, get the jigs straight into them. When I see them, that's why you've got to have your sounder set up really well. So you can see those fish up high there, 20, 25 meters. That's definitely Spanish mackerel coming through. So I'm dropping my jig down to around the same depth and ripping it back up. And hopefully we'll get a fish. Pretty much the same spot where they were yesterday. So hopefully we can jag them as easily as I did then. Get this down we got out the way. Oh, I just got bitten off. Damn it, on the way up, clean bite off. You can't really do anything about that. It just means the fish are eating, and there she goes. Well, I've got to tie on a new one. Yep, there we go. That's the one we wanted, you beauty. That's a chunk of a fish. And off he goes. <laughs> Good old morning Spanish. Oh, he's dropped it. No, how did he throw that? He was so well hooked. Oh, I oh, can't believe he dropped that. I thought he was solidly hooked. Oh, oh well, a bit of screaming real action. Let's check that drag, yeah, it's pretty good. Damn it, thought I had a good fish then. Yeah, oh, come on, they're just in that 20 meter mark. Oh, he didn't snip me, did he? Oh, he did. No. Two. That's tragic. No way. Huh? I don't have a lot of leader left either. Okay, time to slow troll a livey out the back and see if we can get one that way. And this guy through the nose. Like that. Put a treble underneath him and send him out. Keep him next to me and just slow trial. Okay, I'm also going to put one on the downrigger because I can see some fish down deeper around 20 meters. So that's where I want to put my baits. Get that guy swimming down. Clip him in the clip. 
like that. It's tight. Bombs away. Tighten him up. Make sure there's enough drag to secure the fish. Bring that bomb back. Oh, there's a hit. There we go, here we go. Yep. Straight on. <laughs> well, that's what we wanted. How's that for a instant hit, eh? That's what we want. All right, now we need to get this guy out. Get the bomb up. Good fish. That didn't take long at all, change of tactic. And we're on to a fish. Okay, the other one's on the surface, so I should be all right. Just keep the boat in gear. As long as we don't get a double hook up, we should be fine. When a plan comes together, how good is it? I'll just keep that boat just in gear. That was an instant hit. As soon as I got that fish down to 25 meters, he was on. It's coming up high. Hopefully he stays just in that back section, which will be easy for me to get this fish in then. Slight change of technique and we get a result. Just drop my bear. drag off a little bit there. He wants to run a bit. He's a good fish. Oh, whoa, this could be a wahoo. He's just taking a lot of line. Although we might have to clear this other one. Come on. Come on, buddy. In, 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 in. Right, now we can fight this fish with a bit of room. Oh, did he get sharked? No, he might have. Nah, he's still here, just swimming back towards the boat. Got him close now. I thought I did. <laughs> Gotta be a good spano with a run like that. Yeah, it is a good spano. Nice. First thing in the morning, two bite offs. Change of tactic with a little bit of wire and you get a nice Spanish. Ooh, we might have to put a gaff in this guy. He's got a bit of oomph about him. There we go, we got a good shot at him now. Easy shot. Perfect. There we go. Spanish mackerel, downrigging with a live bait. And that's why I always go and get live bait as a little bit of an insurance policy, just in case the fish are in a weird mood. And um, as you can see, put the bait down and before I even set it, the fish has smashed it. So using your sounder is the best way to see where those fish are. And he was sitting down at 20 meters. There was a pack of them spread out. And as soon as the bait was in the right depth of the water column, we get the fish.
Well, that was a good result on the downrigger then, just mixing it up a little bit, changing the technique, a couple of bite offs on the jigs, change to something with some wire on, and a permanent hookup. So when they're in that mood where they're biting you off, generally means that they're just a bit sloppy on their attack and they're not, you know, hitting the lure exactly where you want them. So a bit of wire is a bit of protection and a livey will always, always catch a fish. So we're resetting another livey. Make sure that is in the clip, tight. Once again, we bomb him down. Make sure my steering wheel is going the right way. And down she goes. Let's see if we get another quick result. Boat is turning in the right direction. Tension up. Line's a long way back. Bring that ball back closer to the boat so we've got plenty of tension. As soon as I feel that handle starts to get a bit tight, we know we're in the right spot and we're ready for a strike. Now that last fish, I could see that rod tip go. The fish was dragging it away before it came out of the clip. We've got one bait down on the downrigger at 20 and a live bait up high. And I'm watching my sounder all the time to see where the fish are coming through. There we go, there's a hit. Right, 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 come on. Yes. Yeah. That's what we wanted. Just saw a fish come through at 30 meters on the sounder. And a hit. Come on. Right, the ball up. Let's get some fish, get some line back on this guy. Mark where we were. That was a good hookup. He hit that hard. <sighs> Took about 15 minutes there to get another bite. Still got that other line out the back, so I've got to be careful of it. Might start winding it in. Come on. This is where a decky comes in handy, but Solo angling, this is what it's all about. Dealing with this by yourself. I'm gonna put that in the rod holder for a sec. I wanna keep this livey, because I don't have heaps of them, and every one of them is precious. Righto, rods are clear. Time to fight fish. Oh, this is great fun. Just when I get back into this area where I've been hooking up, it's pretty instant. They're just hanging in one spot at the moment. Didn't take a lot of line, this guy. He ran it first, but he's slowed down pretty quickly. Well, I was hoping I'd get a result like I did yesterday. I brought a couple of friends out yesterday just to show them what mackerel fishing's about and they had a ball and uh, we caught quite a few Spanish. We caught six Spanish and kept a couple. This guy wants to run but I'm not going to give him too much breathing space. Let's get him in the boat. Come on. He's got a little bit of weight to him this one. Going down a bit deeper. <sighs> bit of a stubborn fighter. Well, it's always good when they're chewing two days in a row. Doesn't always happen like that. They can switch off pretty easily and just go into weird moods and then just not bite. 
This is a pretty heavy fish, this one, unless I've hooked him weird. He may have it in the side. I can't feel the typical head shakes of the Spanish. Could be a treble hook in the side of him, so I won't go too hard on him as I bring him up. If it's hooked in the skin, it can pull out pretty easily. Once again, the sounder was the key in that situation. I just saw that fish come through at 30 meters, knowing my bait wasn't far from it. So I was watching that rod tip for a strike, but that's why you just got to get on and whine as fast as you can, get the tension on the fish. And luckily it was just hooked really well. Come on, don't go around the motor, mate. Swim out this side, that's it, be a good fella. That's it. That's what we want. Yeah, he is hooked a bit weird. He's not quite ready yet. Maybe he's just a lazy guy. <laughs> Had that one run and then just tired out. Hasn't been going to his gym sessions. Or maybe he's been pigging out. Where's he hooked? Probably got a belly full of food. I know I would if I was a Spanish around here. We'll get a look at him now, there he is. He is hooked. Yeah, he's hooked behind the, the gill. So I'm gonna get one good shot at this guy. That's a typical treble hook up there. Right, oh, no, gaff shot to the head. Yeah, he is hooked pretty good actually. He's got, you can see there, Whoa, keep my hand away from his mouth, but you can see there, hook on the outside, and the treble is deep in his mouth. I'm gonna try and get you a shot there, and that is why we use a treble hook. The stinger, deep inside, hook on the outside. There's no way that guy is coming off anytime soon. Uh, great start to the session in the first half an hour, two really good Spanish on the downriggers. I've uh, been waiting to have a good chance at them. When they're in numbers, they're obviously a lot easier to catch uh, when they're in one area and not moving around as much. So now I've pulled up, I've spot locked, and I'm going to put Livey out the back and also use a jig just to catch a couple, hopefully, uh, with some different techniques. Oh, there we go. On the livey. Yes. Okay, get this jig out of the way. Come on. Come on, you can stay up there. Yes. <laughs> I knew that would go off eventually. Just hanging out the back there. Swimming down slowly. Oh, this guy hasn't run yet. It's a weird kind of weight. Lazy Spanish. Well, I think he's about to go <laughs> under the boat, which is not real great, but come on. Versatility. There he is, coming up now. Having different methods at hand, ready to go, catches the fish. So starting with two bite offs and then getting three good hookups. This guy wants to go under the boat, of course. He's got a bit of weight. <laughs> oh, I love Spanish mackerel fishing. So versatile, so many different ways you can catch them. Oh, I just felt a hook pull then. So he's hooked by the treble now, I reckon. Oh, he really wants to be under the boat, this guy. There he is. Let's get him in. Well, good thing I got live bait this morning. It's definitely a good insurance policy. 
There he is, nice spano. Let's get a look at him. Come on. <laughs> Mate, this guy is feisty as. Look at him go. <gasps> He's definitely not ready to come in yet. I'm gonna have to get a gaff into this guy because he's pretty green. Come on. Oh, not the greatest gaff shot of all time. As long as the fish gets in the boat. See there? We've got a good hook up with the treble. And the main hook, treble in the front. Oh, it's just a smaller fish, bit feisty, a lot of energy, this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure he doesn't cut me open. Uh, there we have him. Another Spanish on the live bait. Great little session so far. I'm going to keep fishing, but I'm pretty happy now that's enough fish. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. I'm going to release them from here on in. It's been a month since we've been out, so I haven't caught many fish this summer season. So good to stock up on a few fillets, give a few away to some friends. Oh, let's get this guy in the tub. Yep. Come on. Oh, he's dropped it. Come on. Not happening on the jigs today. I was getting them pretty clean yesterday. Just got to get it in the corner of the mouth. Oh, he just bit me off then, like 10 meters down. Oh, <laughs> fucker. <laughs> Damn it. Got a fish at 30 meters, my bait's at 25. We should get a hit here. It's clear as day on the sounder. Super clear, there's a fish, 35 meters. Just sitting under my live bait. Keep an eye on that rod tip and see if it loads up. Just pop it in gear. There it goes. Yes! All right, we've got a hook up here. Come on. Come on. That was that fish at 30 meters. Just gotta keep the tension on him here. Come on, get the downrigger up. Keep the fish on. Just saw that line. Pop out of the holder. Now that was a perfect downrigger hookup. Just saw that rod tip bounce, jumped out, and this should be another Spanish. I could see him on the sounder clearly, down at 30 meters. And it was just having a look at the rigger, which was down around the same spot. <laughs> and didn't take long <laughs> for him to take a liking to that livey that was out the back there. Oh, he's come up high and he's not on the right side of the boat. Just got to keep him down deep for a minute just to keep him away from that motor. Right. Feels like he might be hooked in the side. <laughs> I might turn the boat around actually. Get 
get him on the other side. Don't like this angle at the moment. Come on, buddy, swing out. That's it, swim around this side of the boat. Okay, here we go, he's a good fish too. A really good Spanish. When you're fishing with live bait, they're usually good fish. And this is definitely a quality fish. Oh, he's gonna go around the motor. Yeah, he's a good Spanish. Okay, we wanna let this guy go, because I've got enough to eat. Really good fish. He's hooked just underneath behind the head, so that's why he's not swimming real well at the moment. I'm gonna try and tail this guy so I can have a clean release. Oh. He's not ready yet. Yeah, it's pretty awesome when you can see that fish on the sounder clearly in the same depth as your bait. And it's just a matter of time before they can't ignore a live bait sitting down there and they just have to eat it. There was two fish, I think, onto this bait. And this guy has just jumped all over it. But see that rod tip just change in its tension and it popped out of the holder. And the secret to it is getting on that bail arm, sorry, getting on the handle as quickly as possible, giving a few whines just to set the tension and set the hook on the fish. And, uh, and here we go, we've got a great result with another good Spanish mackerel. Okay, we wanna get this guy in so I can release him cleanly. He's well hooked. We've got a treble in the mouth and a hook in the side. Oh, another fish on the down rear. I've got to be careful there because there's a hook back behind him. There we go. Should be safe there. You can see that's the importance of using the stinger rig. Get a really good hook up, one in the mouth and one behind the fin. And that's a really good result. What a good morning. A few Spanish. We've got four then on the rigger, three on the rigger, one on the live bait. So I'm going to get this guy back in the water and release him. Well, great result. Can't ask for a better session than that, really. Uh, pretty much straight onto the fish. A couple of bite-offs on the jigs. Live is out the back on the downriggers. And three good fish. One miss on the downrigger. But to get three out of four is pretty good in my books. Uh, and then one on the spot lock on the livey out the back. None on the jigs today, except a couple of bite-offs and a couple of hookups and misses. But uh, it doesn't matter when you're catching fish, doesn't matter how you get them in the boat, as long as you get them in the boat. So that's pretty much me done for the morning. Quick uh, two and a half hour session, uh, back in for a late breakfast. And uh, can't ask for more than that, weather's fantastic. So hopefully we'll get another couple of days of fishing in. Hope you enjoy the episode. If you like it, hit the like button, subscribe below. I really appreciate your support and uh, we'll see you next time I'm on the water.